والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. Oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. Oh Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book, you إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد Brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We talked about your number one goal in this life should be Jannah and we talked about the one thing that will guarantee you Jannah that you die as a Muslim and we talked about the sign that you died as a Muslim, that you were able to utter La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, at the time of your death. But we said that you will not be able to utter, to say the kalima that makes you a Muslim, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, at the time of death, if you did not live it, if you did not live that word. And then we said, how can you live a word that you don't know what it means, the meaning of it? And we said that this is a command in the Quran. فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Learn what لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ means. The word لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ means that لَا مَعْبُودَ بِحَقٍ إِلَّا اللَّهِ No one has the right, no one is worthy of your worship and obedience but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you single out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with, your, with, with all your actions. قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِي لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَهُ وَبِذَلِكَ أُمِرْتُ وَأَنَا أَوَّلُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Say my salah, my ritual, my sacrifice, my sleep, my living, my death is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Lord of all that exists, and He has no partner. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we said that the heart is the storage of sincerity, and in order for the heart to host sincerity, you must remove three misconceptions from your heart, in order to plant the seed of Tawheed in your heart. And we talked in the last episode, about the first misconception, the first obstacle, which is you believing that there is someone who can benefit you or someone can harm you without Allah's permission. And we mentioned Hadith Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma fi sunnah al-Tirmidhi. And at the end of the Hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him that Rest assured that if all of mankind gather to benefit you with something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not will, they can't. They will only benefit you with something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willed for you. And if they gather to harm you 
with something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not will? They can't. Brothers and sisters in Islam, all of this is written a long time ago. Your lifespan is written. Your provision is written. And we talked about the second obstacle or the second misconception that you must remove from your heart in order to be able to plant the tree of sincerity, La ilaha illallah, in your heart, which is you seek in the praises from people. You want people to be happy with you. <laughs> Impossible. You cannot make all people happy with you. Akhi, if there is somebody who people should be happy with, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are people out there who say that Allah has a son. Allah has a wife. Subhanallah. Ta'ala Allahu amma yaquluna uluwan kabira. Some people who do not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If there is someone out there who deserves the love of all of man, of people, at least the people that uh, he lived with, is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described his manner. وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ You have the best character. But yet, they still called him names. They did not accept his call. Now you think that you're going to make everybody happy? You can't, akhi. You see, there is a misconception there that the hearts of people are not in their hands. What do you mean? Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and the hadith for Sahih Muslim, من حديث عبد الله بن عمرو بن العاص إن قلوب بني آدم بين أصبعين من أصابع الرحمن يقلبها كيف يشاء The hearts of the children of Adam are between two fingers of the fingers of Allah سبحانه وتعالى Don't try to visualize ليس كمثله شيء وهو السميع البصير قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد no one is like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the hearts of the children of Adam are between two fingers of Allah. If Allah wants people to love you, Allah will cause their hearts to love you. And that is why Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, has a beautiful statement. You know what he said? He said, قَلْبُ مَنْ تُرَائِي بِيَدِ مَنْ عصيت. Now you're showing off, maybe committing shirk, in order to please that person, the heart of that person is in the hand of the one who you are disobeying. He can direct his heart to love you. But all you have to do is be sincere to him. And that is why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the hadith fi sunnah tirmidhi min hadith Aisha radiallahu anha. He said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Man arda al-nas bi sakhat Allah, asakhat Allahu alayhi al-nas. If you want to make people happy, at the expense of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make the same people unhappy with you. Yani you go and you show off for somebody. You do what you do for him. Not for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That person that you associated with Allah, that you set as a rival to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will make that person unhappy with you. Brothers and sisters in Islam, in Sunan al-Tirmidhi, uh, but for the, uh, the sake of being truthful and trustworthy, the chain of narration is spoken upon by some of the scholars of hadith. Fi Sunnah Tirmidhi, a Bedouin told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, إِنَّ مَدْحِ زَيْن وَإِنَّ ذَمِّ شَيْن Meaning, that if I praise you, then you're all set. And if I boot you down, then you're all set. But Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him, ذَلِكَ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ this is the Lord of mankind. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praises you, then you are praised. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not praise you, then you are not praised. Worry about pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't seek the praises from people. Because if you do, the tree of sincerity will not grow in your heart. Because you will always seek to Make the people happy at the expense of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once you pray, you want the people to see you praying. Commit a shirk right there. You're showing off. Brothers and sisters in Islam, the third obstacle or misconception that you must remove from your heart is seeing yourself. If you see yourself, you say, I, 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 I. Who are you, akhi? Who are you, sister? Wallahi, you are 
what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made you. The scholars of tafsir said that Iblis used to be very righteous and used to be so pious of the jinn. And that is why he was placed with the angels. He is a jinni, but he was placed with the angels because of his obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you know what happened to him? He saw himself. He thought that he became righteous and pious on his own. No, no. Look at the people of Jannah once they enter Jannah. What they say? The dwellers of Jannah. Once they enter Jannah, what they say? وَقَالُوا أَلْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ أَلَّذِي هَدَانَا لِهَذَا وَمَا كُنَّا لِنَهْتَدِيَ لَوْلَا أَنْ هَدَانَ اللَّهِ All praises be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All praises be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guiding us until we made it here. And has it been for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We will not be guided. We will not be here in Jannah. They believe that they made it to Jannah because of the help and support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Stop seeing yourself. Akhi, if you are a hafiz to the Quran, it's because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made you this way. If you are an engineer, a good engineer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made you this way. Look at the man with the two gardens. Once he entered his garden, he saw himself. He said, this is all mine. It will not go away. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took it away. Look at Qarun. When he was reminded, you know what he said? قَالَ إِنَّمَا أُوْتِيتُهُ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ عِنْدِي I got it because of my knowledge. Keep it. Hmm. You got it because of your knowledge? Keep it. You get what you get because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are who you are because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Stop seeing yourself. What is the solution to this? Say, لَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ you know, interesting, <coughs> when you hear the adhan, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, <coughs> إِذَا سَمِعْتُمُ المؤذن فَقُولُوا مِثْلَ مَا يَقُولُ If you hear the muaddin repeat after him, when he says, Allahu Akbar, say, Allahu Akbar. When he says, أَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Say, أَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ When he says, أَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ Say, أَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ When he says, حَيَّ عَلَى الصَّلَاةِ Say, حَيَّ على الصلاة no say لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله have you ever pondered upon this you say حي على الصلاة come to the صلاة so what you should say I will not be able to go to the صلاة without the might and the power of Allah without the help of Allah سبحانه وتعالى لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله I will not make it to the صلاة without the help of Allah سبحانه وتعالى this is the attitude of a person who wants to grow sincerity, a seed of sincerity from his, in his heart. If you remove those three misconceptions from your heart, rest assured that the seed of sincerity will grow in your heart, and you will be able to say, La ilaha illallah, and you will achieve, inshallah, sincerity in your actions. Brothers and sisters in Islam, it is a difficult concept, but... Insha'Allah, next episode, I want to share with you a story of a man who worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for 60 years. And he did one act only. We'll find out the story of this man, insha'Allah, in the next episode. Remember, Ramadan is your second chance to learn about La ilaha illallah. Do not miss the next episode. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. Each deed of the seed of Adam is for him except for one. O Lord of this blessed month, we praise you for Ramadan. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light. By your grace you sent us this Quran each day that we recite. And for the book you revealed therein to guide us to the light.